Lions Club International District 2X1 University Club Officer Virtual Training. This is the training for the club service secretary. Hi, my name is Dr. Pamela Baker. I'm the president of the Wiley Evening Lions Club. I've been a lion since 2011 and I've served as president, secretary, membership and LCIF chairpersons. And right now I am the global leadership team coordinator for the district for the 2021 line year. Thank you for coming to today's presentation and I hope you get some good information. I want you to think about what is or what was your favorite club activity from this past year. You know, this has uh, been a very, um, different year that we're starting out in. And so I don't want us to forget the importance of what we do. We may just have to do it a little bit differently um, this year, or we may come up with some really neat creative ideas or some new activities. But it's very important to keep that focus. And also in your role as club secretary, it's gonna be very important to report these activities. So the primary responsibility of the club secretary is to be able to understand the constitution and bylaws at each level. At the end of this presentation, I will show you where that is at. So we have bylaws um, that is run from um, LCI, but then we may have some bylaws in which we do for our um, district. And you may have bylaws even for your club. So it's very important that you um, are familiar with those and understand those. You also um, will need to attend all club and board meetings. As the person who's going to be recording, that is very uh, important so that there would be a record. Also, if you're not able to attend, you might want to have a backup person who could do that for you. The next thing would be organizing club meetings. Now that's something that you would do with the president or their designee. And it may be that you're sending out information, that you're getting things uh, together, uh, the agenda, but it may be something that the president is also um, doing. So that would be something that you would work out with your club president. Uh, very, very important, keeping club records. They say that one dull pencil is worth more than two sharp minds. So you want to be able to have an accurate record of what's going on in the meetings and uh, what may be coming up. It's really hard when um, nothing is written down or recorded and people try to remember, especially um, if the person who maybe it was over that activity or the person who discussed is not no longer there or not there at the meeting. You will probably also be the person receiving and responding to club correspondence. So you, you would give that information to the appropriate person. Usually that would probably be the president, but uh, a lot of information may be coming from LCI. It may be coming from somebody else in our district. Uh, may send that club correspondence to you. I can't say enough about um, this next one, completing and filing all club reports with my LCI and my Lion. Uh, this is extremely important. Um, it's important not only to, to document all the good stuff and activities that you guys are doing, but it's also important that um, 
when uh, we're looking at charity and giving money, uh, those are the the metrics and stuff that they look at to see what all of our clubs are doing, um, LCI as a whole. I'm going to show you uh, a little bit later what that looks like, and uh, we'll go through it and take a look at my club and um, some of the things that we're doing. Cooperating as an active member of the zone, we have eight zones uh, this year. Each zone has a chair, and we have, and they're divided between east and west. And each um, there is a person that's over the east, person that's over the west, to help out uh, the zone chairs. The really great thing about being at the zone meetings is meeting other um, districts, seeing what they're doing. Um, other people that may be in your role that you may find out more information and have some good ideas. Um, it's just a great time for all of us to get together and to learn about each other. One of the important things that I've already said is recording the minutes in details of what's happening in the club and sending the minutes out to the club members. Now how that looks may be very different between um, each of the clubs. Some people are still using email to send that out. I um, actually use Google. We have a Google Drive that all of our club members are a part of. And so when the minutes are done or when the agenda is done, I just um, send them a little email. That way they won't lose it. It's always there on the drive. Some people may use a newsletter or s'more. Um, to do uh, to send out information. So however you do it, it's fine just as long as it uh, gets done. The other thing is to record votes by the board. Um, it should have the name of the member making the motion. Record that, the one who seconds. I've always seen uh, the second, even though it says it's optional, I always see the second being recorded. And then record the result of the vote that it's carried or defeated. And the other thing is to keep an accurate record of attendance at meetings and activities. And uh, I'm gonna show you some uh, documents that will help you out with that. So here is our, um, our app and our process to uh, given, um, to record, um, information. So in my LCI, you're going to record your membership information. That needs to be done monthly and I'm going to show you uh, where it's at. It's really, really quick. It probably takes no more than two minutes to do that and that's probably even too long. My line is where we report service and then you can also shop and uh, you know, when you get your apparel or if you're doing awards, it has it there. And then they give you metrics and then there's some other learning opportunities. So right now I'm going to go into my lion. And this one would be an app that you would have on your phone. It looks, um, when I do uh, on my phone, it looks like this and I have iPhone, but you can go to Google or to Apple and do that. So let's just take a look at what this looks like. That's a quick sign in. <laughs> and then it takes me to um, to Wiley Evening. So we've had two service activities, probably had a little bit more than that because we haven't put in all of our, um, our monthly meetings, but two uh, service activities that we've had uh, this year. And um, it allows you to, let me go into here. I'm gonna go here first. So it allows you to put in, to report past activities, to report future activities. And then you could see um, also um, other districts that are, are, sorry, other clubs that are doing things. It allows you to, um, actually invite other people. So other people could see what you are doing. Um, let me see if I go on this one. I'm trying to figure out which one is. Um, okay, so right here, uh, you could see these are act our activities from uh, this past 
year. This is our most recent was the back to school fair and we purchased the markers for uh, the backpacks that um, and we do every month announce our signature. One of our signature activities is uh, working in the food pantry. That's been a little bit different this year because of um, because of COVID and quarantine. But um, we're still letting um, people uh, participate. So um, just wanted you to uh, see what that looks like. And then um, going back, we talked about, let me see if it's going to let me into my LCI. Yay. All right. So this is where you do the recording. And I'm going to change because I have different titles. So I need to change to the president. So you can see that a little bit better. All right. So um, you do officers here. But this is the one, this area right here is the one that is uh, my members, the MMR, that's really important. So we're a very, very small club. We're working to get a little bigger, but there's nine of us. But each month at the beginning of the month, you should um, just click on this and um, and you could do report no changes. You know, when October comes or you add a member, you know, and you can add a member anytime. So it's not like, um, once you, if you report no changes at the beginning of the month, that it's not going to be, uh, that it'll be an issue. So that is really important. And like I said, it just, it really doesn't take a whole lot of time. Also over here, you know, if you're just like, I can't remember how to do this. <laughs> Here's uh, some resources here that'll show you how to do that. So uh, just going a little bit more on membership, make sure that your roster is kept up to date with the addresses and phone numbers. I know that people uh, may change a lot, um, especially email addresses. So you wanna make sure that that's up to date. Note that um, adding or dropping members sh should be done by uh, board vote. Just want to say that if you drop a member, um, this may be your membership chair's more responsibility, but also just find out why, you know, you're dropping. There's some really, um, you know, good reasons that people drop, but sometimes uh, you just need to follow up with them and let them know that, that they have been missed and uh, you really want them to be part of your club. Again, report your membership for the month in my LCI and just do it, you know, um, as the first month's coming up, it's like going, okay, let me just take a minute or two and do that. And then every year, um, you need to report your elected club officers in my LCI. And then there's also um, the semi billing roster of members. And I'm going to go back to that to show you where that is at. Go back into. Uh, my LCI and for um again I'm gonna have to go to my title <laughs> so uh when you go in there and you see um a lot here's members club information uh this stuff is no longer uh, we won't do that in there we'll do that in uh my lion but you can still download some reports but here's the statements and dues. So um, if you wanting to know, you know, how much money you owe, you can see right there, we owe a little bit. We also sponsor a, um, a Leo club, which is over here. So um, that uh, amount shows up there too. But I wanted you to see what that looks like. So um, a lot of good information in my Lion in my LCI. All right, so here's the club activities. So is this something that you're going to do? Do you have a service team leader? Is it something that you guys work on together? You um, and your president and your, um, you guys need to figure out, you know, whose responsibility is what. But a lot of times this falls on the secretary. 
So you want to keep track of club activities, service projects, and fundraisers. I showed you where um, you can do that at. If you need more training and you're like going, okay, I, I see that, but I don't know how to do it. We have several people, especially um, our district governor, Lion Billy Kettner, who would be happy to help you out with that. Um, they've made it easier. It was a little bit of struggle at the beginning. So if you uh, tried to get in it at the beginning and just like going, I'm not going to mess with this, it is a whole lot easier. And as you can see, you see everything in uh, one, one, um, one pager. So um, one of the things that we wanted to share with you is some documents that uh, people have used that maybe um, help them out. So this is a club roster that uh, somebody used. You can download this also from, uh, from uh, my LCI and you can see um, it'll give you the date. This is a little bit older, but anyway, it'll give you the member name and title and then you could, you know, highlight um, if they came or, or anything, whatever you want to use. So that is available uh, to you. You could create your own. Um, there's also, um, if you want to keep track of the activities that your club is doing, um, you could do, um, here's the activity, activity name, the date, um, the number of hours, record the lion that did that activities. And then over here, um, it would do the total uh, number of lions, total number of activities. And then also um, if it was submitted to my lion. Sometimes if you have a lot of activities, you may not remember if it was submitted or not. So this would um, allow you to just check that off and say, well, that is done. Now for um, my uh, club, I do an annual calendar and this just helps me to uh, keep track of all the stuff that we do for the schools and our community. So you see, um, this is last year's calendar. Um, this past year, um, we worked with Amazing Grace Food Pantry once a month. Um, this uh, also, what's highlighted in yellow are the, the activities that we do. And I try to uh, keep, um, you know, I try to color code it. As you can see, each um, month, has a different focus. Somebody asked me, well, where'd you get that from? And um, I believe it came out in one of the Lions magazines and we have one this year. I can't say that they're all the, the same each year, but you can see where some of them are, you know, um, in green, um, the campaigns and, uh, different things. So uh, this will be updated every year. Um, it's going to be really probably different because of uh, quarantine and COVID, but uh, we will still try to do as much as we can to uh, serve our, our community. So this calendar is just for our group to keep us updated. And then uh, we'll um, want to show you an example of our agenda and our minutes. Um, again, we use Google, and so this is always there for everybody. And um, do like I said, we're a small clubs, so there's uh, our attendance, and um, we do celebrations. And then if there's an update, usually there's not too much because of um, everything is on our Google Drive, but it's really good to have, um, you know, the documents handy if we need to get to them. And so this is what our, uh, our agenda and our minutes, they're all together, uh, look like. Another thing, just kind of FYI, that I want to share with the group is we know that we're not, for the most part, most of us are not a 5013C unless we have applied for a nonprofit. But we are a 501C 
and there is a Texas application for exemption. And so you can um, do that exemption. And um, in some cases, you could uh, be tax exempt um, for that. So anyway, um, just wanted to throw that out because I learned that this, this past year. <laughs> so it's um, good to know. So uh, gone over everything really pretty quickly, but um, what if you want to know more or to um, dig a little bit deeper into something I talk about, this is the link to the secretary's uh, website on um, for our inter our international club. And so it gives you um, information about the club secretary. And remember, I talked about the constitution and bylaws for a club. That's what it um, is right here. This just gives you a um, standard club structure, which your club should look like. And then um, this is the book that is going to be most helpful for you because I've covered some things very quickly. But if you want to know more detail, you can download this PDF and it gives you a lot of really good information. And so it gives you, again, a lot more detail than I presented, but um, it will help you if you have any uh, questions. So um, take some time, look at it. Um, it'll give you some really good uh, ideas. There's a couple links in there, hopefully. Um, last time I checked, they were still working, but you know, sometimes uh, things change and you may have to um, search it, but it's, it's all there on the LCI uh, website. So some great stuff that's put together and just want to thank you for attending this club officer training. If you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, Pamela Baker. I am uh, in the directory. My email is lionpamela2020 at gmail.com. So thank you very much. I hope you've learned something and I am wishing you a great year as the secretary and a great line year.